Hey, how's it going guys? This is Nick at barbend.com. Today I'm going to be reviewing the pre-workout, pre-gym. So Jim is a supplement company founded by this guy, Dr. Jim Stefani. He was the uh, science editor at Muscle & Fitness for about 10 years, and then he went on to found his own supplement company. Uh, he's pretty well known for his, uh, his uh, protein powder, and also he's got a post-workout as well. This is pre-workout. It's pretty strong. It's got the caffeine of like a little over three cups of coffee, but also a lot of other ingredients there that we're going to get into. Um, first of all, I'm going to try it out first. So here I have the refreshing melon flavor. So let's see how it goes with water. Okay, so it's good. Um, it tastes a little less like uh, less like watermelon and more like um, like rock melon or cantaloupe and honeydew as well. Um, it's pretty sour. Um, I like that because it actually contains branched chain amino acids as well. And normally those supplements uh, they need a lot of sourness to cover up the bitterness of the BCAA. So it is. It's a big serving size and it's a little bit sour. So I, this is about a cup of water. I'd probably mix it with about two cups of water. Okay, so let's take a close look at the nutrition label and the ingredients. Uh, so one scoop is 80 calories, which is remarkably high for a pre-workout, which are often zero calories, so that's something to point out. Uh, three grams of carbohydrates, two grams of sugar. Um, and as far as the ingredients go, like I said earlier, okay, the main ingredient people often look at in a pre-workout is the caffeine. And here we have 300 milligrams. It's a little over what you get in three cups of coffee, so it's pretty high in caffeine. Um, so it's got a lot of the other uh, kind of big hits you'll get in pre-workouts. And what's cool about this is they're in pretty high doses. So especially, for instance, uh, citrulline malate, there are six grams of that in this. Uh, most pre-workouts, they'll include it like maybe one or two grams, but studies have shown that like while that's good for like circulatory health, uh, if you want an actual acute effect for your workout, six grams is a really good amount to uh, sort of increase circulation and improve blood flow and that kind of thing. That was pretty cool. A lot of uh, beta alanine as well, two grams, very strongly linked to endurance. Uh, there's creatine hydrochloride, two grams of that, which is also linked to increased power output. There's some betaine, which comes from beets and uh, some leafy greens as well. That's got a pretty strong link with power output and also like endurance as well. Um, there's a gram of taurine. The good thing about taurine is uh, it helps to like reduce the jitteriness that's often associated with a big hit of caffeine which you're getting in this product. So it's always good to get some taurine in there. And it may also uh, improve your recovery from the workout because it helps to draw water into your cells. Otherwise, there's some N-acetyl-L-cysteine, which is a very absorbable form of cysteine, which has uh, antioxidant type properties. So it can reduce cellular damage associated with exercise. Um, otherwise, there's alpha-GPC, which is strongly linked to power and focus. The dosage is a little bit low here, there's 150 milligrams, normally you see like two to 300 milligrams uh, as a supplement, but nonetheless, pretty good dose. Then there's also 500 milligrams of beet extract, that is strongly linked to uh, nitric oxide, which is linked to endurance as well. Um, and there is toothed club moss extract, uh, that is, uh, let's see, that's uh, strongly linked to uh, improve like focus and mood. There's black pepper extract, which helps everything absorb well. And finally, which is the most important thing, I think, or at least one of the most remarkable things, is you get six grams of BCAAs in this, branched amino acids. So uh, seleucine, isoleucine, and valine, all three of which are very strongly linked to uh, improve like, endurance and focus and uh, muscle retention during a workout. So much so that often you get BCAAs in their own supplement. So it's, uh, it's rare, but it's always good to see BCAAs included in a pre-workout. Otherwise, you just got some natural and artificial flavors, uh, including the sweetness, sucralose, s sulfate potassium, and of course, the artificial coloring. So as far as the price goes, this tub here has 20 servings and you can pick this up for $38. So that comes to $1.90 per serving. So as far as pre-workouts go, that is on the higher end. Most pre-workouts on the market, they fall between like $25 and $30 for 30 servings. So usually like a dollar per serving, that's considered somewhat expensive. Um, so this is, it is more expensive than some of its competitors. That said, as I mentioned earlier, it does double as a branch chain amino acid supplement. So in that respect, it may save you a bit of money. A few things that I really liked about pre-gym. Uh, the first thing is that I really like that it has branched chain amino acids in there. Again, it's very rare, even though like a lot of people like to have those before a workout to help boost your muscle, muscle protein synthesis and everything like that. It's unusual to see in a pre-workout. I really like it when I see that in there. In addition, uh, I did like that it doesn't have any proprietary blends, so you know exactly how much of every ingredient that you're getting, which is really cool and like a little bit unusual to be honest. Um, and on top of that, uh, the dosages are pretty high. Um, at least as far as the research goes, it does suggest that most of these are very high doses of these, uh, or at least very effective doses of the ingredients. In particular, the citrulline malate, the taurine, the beta alanine, and the creatine, and the caffeine, um, all those should go towards um, a pretty productive workout. There are a few things I didn't like quite so much about pre-gym. It is uh, pretty pricey compared to other supplements on the market. Um, it does contain plenty of artificial ingredients as well. Uh, if you're wanting to stay clear of artificial sweeteners, sucralose and acetyl sulfate potassium, uh, also the colors, the flavors, Plenty of artificial stuff in here. If you have um, very sensitive allergies, it might not be for you because it's made in a facility that also like uh, makes a, makes a ingredients with like soy and tree nuts and wheat and things like that. 
Um, besides that, uh, it was, I think a couple of ingredients might've been like a little bit low in, mostly just the alpha GPC, um, but there's plenty of other ingredients that are gonna, that are linked to improve power output anyway, so it's probably not such a big deal. Finally, it's a very big serving size, and uh, with a cup of water, the flavor really is very, very strong. Um, it's not really a negative, but you just have to remember to mix it with like a good two cups of water. All right, those are my thoughts on pre-gem. Uh, for the full review, you can check out the link below at barbin.com.